Let's go mudlarking on this beautiful river. Today we are celebrating the ability to travel that little bit further and we've just come a mile or two away from home so we're no longer on the Rumney River, we're now on the Sarawi, a river that really holds so much beauty and hopefully treasures. So on this gorgeous sunny June day let's see what else we can find other than all of the dense undergrowth that we had to battle through to get here. Let's hope this treasure as well. Let's have a look. This is a gorgeous open area. Spacious, easy to walk on. But to get to it, we had to come through there. And that was not funny. There were brambles, lots of knotweed, lots of ivy sticks, nasty bits and pieces, but we made it. One of the first things I spotted in the river is a ball. Very well, she's a rugby ball. So I'm going to send Phil out into the deep to see if he can retrieve it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera because this camera tends to put everything quite far away. Now everybody, if Phil falls in, you mustn't laugh. Okay, you're all going to be very sympathetic and say, oh no. Oh, it's getting deep. Look at those wellies. <laughs> Will he make it? Will the intrepid explorer reach his goal before he falls in the water and drowns? He won't drown, but he might get very wet. Be careful with that bag because if it floats away, the car keys are in it. Look at that. Well retrieved. Nice rugby ball. Ah! <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh, it's gone in the water. We found the ball. There we go. Let's have a look what ball it is. It's a Wilson What's Soft that? Grip Official Extreme. Anything else written on it? Go to button. Earned a barcode, which is not very old. There is a park about a mile in that direction, so I think this has probably come from the park, got thrown in and drifted away. This is quite a nice size beach, so we'll have a look. I'll turn the camera down. Don't forget, shout if you see something. There's metal bar, a baldy brick, and surprise, surprise, a Tradiga brick. But it's an NCB Trudiga brick. Always nice by National Coal Board Mark bricks. Oh, I can see a bottle. Is it whole? No, I think it's broken. Yes, the top's broken. Let's have a look if there's anything on it. No, nothing on it, but it's a nice bottle. Old and this means that there are possibly more and they're not going to be broken. Let's keep looking. It's a nice brick. Oh, oh it's brick. 
What's on your brick? Now, it's not one we haven't had before, but there's something very nice about it. Nice. Oh! They put stars on, on the, the Star, star Newport. Oh, that's it's, a lovely one. Yeah, it usually reads either Star Brick Company Newport, Star Brick Company, or just Star Brick. But this one is Star Newport. You see the stars either yes, side. Yes, I really like that. I do. I'm going to put that safe, and hopefully, if we return this way, we can carry it up. Okay. I'll put it with the ball, and I'll just put you by it. Let's have a look along the edge as well. I don't want to go in the water just yet. Do you see if we can see anything in here? Ooh. Something poking out there. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera with the reflections. I think I know what that is. Do you think you know what it is? It's a teapot lid. Half missing. But a very nice teapot lid with a very stylish handle. So we found a bottle and a teapot lid, so I think we could be in for a good day today. Right, it's getting a bit cluttered there, so we'll turn in and check this next bit of beach. As usual, millions of stones. Hmm. Well, after a good start, it's quite quiet here. Not so much. Got a curly bit of metal. Oh, well done. What a wonderful piece of curly metal. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, look at that. That's, shape for a perfect. That's one of those. Oh, I've always wanted one of those. Mm. Now you've got one. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately. What on earth? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's big. Feed. Oh wow! And I think it's plugged in over there because I can't get it out. <laughs> Let's have a look. Here he comes. Oh, no, not plugged in. Oh, I can make a nice extension lead with that. What is that? Hmm. Ah, it's one of them. Oh, is it a power pack thing? Yeah, uh, Converter? transformer. Transformer. That's right. Yeah. It's not yeah. a robot in disguise, though, is it? Not no. that sort of transformer. And it definitely doesn't belong in the river. No. Nope. So we'll get that out here. We've run out of beach. Oh, I just looked back. It's funny, sometimes you don't see something, and then when you come in, in the other direction, you see it. And look, it's another ball. A dinky one. There's something square over there. What's that? Hmm, I think that was originally clear. A big square lump. Do you think a glass battery, something like that? That's what I would guess at. Do you need any decorating done, dear? Oh, what have you found? Look, a roller on there, I can paint the ceiling. Oh, yes, you could paint the sky. I tell you what, Go I can on, get then. that out to the end. It'll give me a stick for today because I've left my stick behind. The only thing is, if you look, it's been bent at some point there, so you may put some weight on it. Oh, I'm not that heavy. And it'll break. I don't think it's going to come out of there. No, it's, it's been rusted. Yeah, firmly so fixed and get it out to the river. If I can take it apart, you will know because I will have a stick. Anyway, as I was saying ages ago, before I got distracted by finding things, we've run out of beach, so we're going to have to go in the water past the Tarzan vines. So pop your wellies on. We're going in. Oh, it's very rough underfoot here, so. Be careful that you don't fall and also, sorry if it's a bit of a bumpy camera ride. This part of the river is normally quite clear, but there seems to be a white sheen to the water, so I don't know what that is. You can see the sun picking up on it there. But we've got gloves, we've got wellies, so we'll be fine. Let's have a look at this bit of bank here something there. Whoops. Ah. Bill's falling. <laughs> you okay? I'm alright. The knotweed got cracked on my leg. Ooh, killer knotweed. Something there. No, that's a piece of bark. Doesn't it look like a piece of china? It's a milk glass in the bank in there. Right, you could try not to land on us as we walk past and we have a look. Whoops. Ending it. Oh, hang on. Look. I'm hanging. Oh, Shippum's that looks like pot. a Shipham's Peace Pot. Yep. I'd say so. 
Aha, one piece pot. Let's have a look what condition it's in. There's a bit of a chip there. But other than that, it's quite good. Let's go and give it a wash. There we go, one piece jar. I found a piece of bank in here. And let's have a look if there's anything hanging out. I can see a piece of china there. Oh, that's firmly fixed in. And there's a piece of glass up here. Ah, <laughs> look at that. It's actually got a root growing through it. That's going to have to stay. An old bottle. Probably be a bottle, I'd say, because of the bulgy bit there. Attached forever. Ah, there's a little piece of bottleneck there. So let's pop down to the water. Oh, pointless washing it there. That is far too dirty. Oh, there's a broken plate in here too. Hmm. Right, let's wash our bottleneck up first. There we go, it's a screw top as well. Nothing too special, but nice just because we found it. And um, what else is here? Let's have a look at these china. And let's have a look at this big piece first. Oh, this is quite a meaty bit. Do you think this is plain or patterned? This is the back, it's just damage. Plain. Plain or patterned. Oh, patterned. Little bit of willow pattern there. Probably off a serving plate, I would say because it's quite thick plain or patterned plain i wonder how so many bits got gathered here if they're not the same plate strange so is this one plain or patterned no oh, plain that's just some damage plain or patterned do -do -do -do. plain is that plain or patterned oh it's like a duck egg blue that's nice and plain or patterned plain and this one i'll turn it over now hmm. well i thought that was a piece of blue and white but when i picked it up it's just a piece of stone i put it back under it does look like blue and white doesn't it stone or is it possibly an old stone and there's some glass there yeah. hmm, let's have a look i don't know what that was but it's not very well now. We found another section of beach. This looks promising. Already I can see something buried here. Let's have a look what that is. Move that out of the way. Oh, look at that. I think that's probably the top of a little vase or vase. Oh no, it's not. That's the bottom because there's no hole. So that probably then I would say a bit of an egg cup. That's quite pretty, but I think, well, as I'm cleaning it, it's fairly modern. It's best dad. Right, we'll wander along. Don't forget, shout if you see something. Ooh, boggy water, isn't it? Oh, there's a bit of a bottle. I'm not putting my hand in there. Oh, the top's missing, but does it have anything written on it? Oh, yes. Ansel's. <laughs> it's a beer bottle. I found a jaw. A jaw? A jaw. A big jaw? Mm. Ooh. Let's go have a look. Buried. Right. Oh, Seven yeah. Years, somebody's jaw. Ooh. It's an animal, isn't it, with those teeth? Fortunately, I wouldn't want it to be a human. Mm. Oh, now, doesn't that look like a pipe stem, a pipe bowl there? I looked up and thought, oh, a pipe bowl. <laughs> it's the bottom of a piece of manky old... Not weed. Aye. Oh, well. There you go. Just that side of you, look. Just down for the bank in there, there's something... It looks like Where a to? bottle shot. Oh, yeah, it's just fallen out. Oh, and there's a little base of a bottle here. Let's have a look at this. It's nothing. Oh yes it is. It says FVF. 
And if we go, where would, oh, there it is. Got, lost it for a minute then. Oh, it's a little baby barrel jar. Ooh, still full of mud, but it's a cute little one. Two ounce, is it, this one? Let's have a look. Yes, that's a two ounce. We need to clean that. There we go, one two ounce barbell jar. A nice little find that. Let's hold it up to the light. We can find some. One barbell jar. There's something under there. It looks like the handle of a knife. Let's have a look. Yep. Could be bone, could be bakelite or plastic. That's the handle of a knife. I found a rim. A rim. Not far from where you found the bottle. Oh, that looks like it could be joining on the teapot lid that I've got. Mm, could be. Oh, yes, Phil pointed out there's a bit of a relief pattern it on is, there. It is, isn't it? I thought now, so. Can you have a look for us and see if that lid fits into that rim? Oh, yes. Could well be going together, that. Oh, that's lovely. Could nice be. little find, that. Probably about 100 yards away from each other. Mm. There you go. Look at that for a cute little one. That's nice. We found quite a few of those up in Yorkshire, but not so many here. I'll tell you what it might be. Go on, then you tell me. Date. Could be, yes. Could be that when we were here last time, we were finding more of the 60s kind of things. Yep. Little cream. And now perhaps we went back to the 50s. Could be, 40s, yes. 50s. Because the river has flooded several times since we were here last. And these finds are right on the edge. Mm. They're just falling out to the bank here. They're landing in the river. They're along the foot of the bank in. Yep. Could be just a different time. Could well be. Matching up with Yorkshire time. Yes. <laughs> Tom time. Look what I've just found. I like handles and that's joined onto a bit of cup. Now the shape of the handle. Hmm. We see them these days because they're retro, but isn't that very much the geometric shape on that is the sort of 1940s? Hmm. Possibly. Could be. Just following on from my theory, we got a little bit mm. older rubbish here. Yep, could well be. I found some more banking here with things in it, but some of the things that is firmly fixed that bottle. And I don't want to go digging because I don't like to undermine these bankings. But this one here, look at that, he's virtually out. Isn't that cute? It's a screw top. Nothing written on it that I can see very sweet little bottle though let's see if there's anything else what's this ah now that I think is a battery core hmm, anything else hanging out most things should have firmly fixed this ground has been so compressed over the years everything else seems to be pretty firmly embedded here Oh, wait a minute, there's a bottle hanging out there. Let's have a look. Ooh! Now it's a screw top, so it's not extremely old, but it's a cute one. Daddy sauce, possibly. But what I like to do once we've finished looking at the banking is check down on the floor because you never know what has newly fallen out. There's a little piece of pot or cup there. Possibly some pattern, I can't quite tell. And I can see some glass here. Ooh, that must have broken when it fell out. What a shame. There's nothing written on it. Oh yes, it was a bottle with teaspoon or tablespoon measurements on it. There's this bit, which would have gone like that. And then we've got the top. Oh, what a shame. The top isn't broken. Just the whole thing is broken. That must have come down with a thud on these stones. Found a bottle. Oh, Phil's found a bottle. Let's go have a look. Is it a big one? Oh, it's a big bottle. It's not a bad size, is it? And it was at the bottom of the bank where we found the other little jars and things. So right. Although it's got nothing on it, I've had to wash it up. I'm wondering if it's that kind of age. Could like well be, yeah. Uh, let's have a look in it's the a sunshine. Oh, look at that. The amber, isn't it? Yes. Ah, oh, is this the whole thing? Or just a rim? Oh, it's another paste pot. These tend to survive because they're quite small and quite thick. Oh, a bottle. Let's have With a look. With a lid. Ooh, it's a bit grubby. 
That's not long out of the ground, is it? No. So definitely a screw top. You can see the screw top cap. A nice shape though. Anything on it? I can't see anything on it at all. Oh, there's another one over there, <gasps> which is a funny no, shape. No, look what I found. Oh, Monkey's other glove. <laughs> He's already lost one and that's his other one. We really need to upgrade Monkey's gloves. You're going to have to be brave and not wear your gloves because you're on your own with just us so you'll be quite safe, don't worry. Oh, that one's newly fallen out too. Yeah. <laughs> there must have been a shower that's brought these down because nobody's been here since they came out because they're just left hanging. Let's have a look at the colour on this one. Oh, another amber one. Let's give it a wash. Let's have a look in this bit of banking. Oh, we've got some china. I thought I saw the neck of a bottle there, but there's definitely this bottle here, another screw top, exactly the same shape as the last one, but this one's full of water. Ooh, I'm probably not going to open that. Big jar full of dirt. Oh, that's nice. That's a press lid, not a screw top. I like those old jam jars. Ooh, we'll definitely wash that and take it home. Right here. I left this brown one in the water soaking for a little bit because the soil in it is so hard. Let's see if it's helped. Oh, that's better. That's a pretty one. And that looks a bit better now I've washed it. Oh yes. I it's, love these. It's I, got a marker on the bottom, a maker's mark. Like an M in the middle, I think. Yeah. And they're not sure if they are Fs. Right. Oh, FMF. Yes, we've had a few bottoms of bottles yeah. and jars with FMF on. The birds are making a right racket up in those trees. They like the crows. We'll have a peek in here. Mm, lots of collapse here, so things may have washed out. Ah, I can see some china already. It's plain, it's quite crazed and grubby, but a nice big piece. I wonder if there's anything patterned in here. Mm, what's that? Does that say 1111? A strange symbol. Could be of something electronic, I suppose. Does anybody recognise that? I think they're probably ones. Mm, you can see a lot of erosion there, but there's not much in it. So I think we've probably passed the length of that tip. Ah, just a second. What's this? It's big. Ooh. I wonder what that was off. It's a huge rim of something. Ceramic. Here, yeah, come and look at this. Ooh, what have you found? We won't be taking this one home with us, but it just shows where our bottles are coming from. Can you see under here? I won't take it out because we'll just undermine the bank in further. See that? Oh yes, look at that. That's where these bottles are coming from. There's another one there, look, that's been so exposed it's snapped. So the right. top we when we find the top of a bottle, it probably came off there. There's a bit of plate that's come down off there, look, right. probably out of there. So there probably are still bits and pieces coming down. Yeah, this this is still tip here, isn't it? Because that's mm. under, the way under. Not as much as there was, but there are still things here. Interesting. Another jar. Another jar? Small one. Oh, yes. Baby jar. What's inside? Roots. Oh, that's yeah. a nice one. 
you can see as it's washing it away earlier so you can see on the ground you see it's exposing bits of china oh yes it's definitely rubbish and i think somebody's been here taking bottles because ah, you yeah. can see they've been pulled out from the banking yeah they're at a higher level there too yes. aren't they? I've seen something pretty that caught my eye in here. We got some wire, shouldn't be here. And um, we've got this, which shouldn't be here, but it's pretty. I don't know if it'll come out. It's loose. Oh, look. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Probably a fireplace tile, a Victorian fireplace tile. That is so pretty. I love the colors on that. Mm, this looks freshly dropped. And look, oh, if I show you where that is. It would explain why it's whole. We go in here, it's got caught on the knotweed but didn't come right down to where the stones are. So it hasn't smashed. So it's always oh, got things written on it. It's not a screw top. We need to wash that out. Cud Limited, COD. I can't get that moss out of the top. Phil's going to try with his magic screwdriver. Mm, which was a river find. Yes. I can push it in, but then as soon as you fill the bottle with water, it just plugs in the egg again. Really frustrating. I found a brick. Oh, we'll go and have a look but at Phil's brick. it's so brick. faithful. Ebbleville. Seen one of those before. That's interesting. I think that's part of an old knitting needle. Yes, definitely shaped. Yes, I'd say that's a bit of an old knitting needle. I wonder who knitted with that and what they knitted with it. Ah, now that's not very old. I think a fisherman's left that behind. It's a fairly new tin opener. Oh, well done. Here you go. Another moss out. What's Thank that crown you. on there? What does that say? Uh, British think... milk. It's a sterilised milk bottle. Yep, your mum would have loved this when she yes, was... Yes, a... in the days before we had fridges, we had sterilised milk and mum never stopped. And every time they do this, we'd have the cereals with it or a cup of tea, somebody would get a bit of skin off the top. Uh. Not nice. Ugh. So there you go, Phyllis. you one you may remember. Yeah. And now for a game of Play No Patterned. Right, I'm going to go for this frilly one first. Now I've seen plates with like a lattice work on and they've been patterned, so I'm going for patterned. Oh yes, which way up? That way. Got some little people there. Right, which one should we go for next? Should we go for this one? It's quite thin. I'm going for plain. Oh no, look at that. It's got like a Grecian urn on it, and that's really pretty. Right, there could be some noise now because there's a lorry in a yard just up the road from us, so you'll hear a lot of engine noise. Right, let's go for this big piece here. Is that plain or patterned? Plain. Right, this bit of brown here. Mm, I'm going to say the other side is going to be plain, but possibly brown. Oh, it's the same on that side. Ooh, go for this one. Um, oh, fine china. It's rounded edge. So it's not very pretty. I'm going for plain. Oh, not again. I'm doing really <laughs> badly at this today. It's patterned. Let's have a look at this one. I'm going to say pattern just because we've been wrong so many times saying plain. Yes, it's pattern. Oh, that's pretty. Turkey, is it? I think so. Right, which one should I go for next, Phil? Um, over this outside over here. Okay, have a look at this. I'm going to go for pattern on this because it's curvy and probably a cap. That's a very noisy lorry. Turn it over. Oh yes, it is patterned. Pink or blue? That looks like a person diving off something. I don't think it's supposed to be. Right, which one now? Yeah. This one? Oh. 
a dirty one, but it's curvy, it's big. I can see a bit of gilt on there, so I'm going to go for patterned. No, I think that's just dirt. There's some pattern in that side, but nothing yeah. on the other. I'll go for this rogue piece here, and I'm going to say brown on the other side. No, it's a piece of ridged pottery. Very wide ridge. Yes, it is, not a usual slim ridge. Right, which piece now? I'll go for this piece. It's the bottom of a saucer. I'm going to say plain. Yes, I was right. Were you right? Let me know how you did on this game. See if you did as badly as I did. So we'll work our way the last few. That one I'm going to say is fine china. Ooh, patent. <gasps> yes, it is. That's nice. Look at the cobalt blue on that. Very pretty. That cobalt blue, you can see the brush marks where it's been hand painted. Let's have a look at this one. I'm going for plain. Yay, plain! Is it or is it, that's dirt, is it? That's dirt, <laughs> chips. Oh no, there's something on it. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, it's actually got something yeah, very nice on it. Yeah, something written on it. Something pottery England. Right, two left. So we've got this one, which, oh, it's thin, but it doesn't look terribly exciting. I'm going for plain. Yes, plain. And our last one, which, it's rounded, so probably a bowl, not rounded enough for a teacup. It's thin, so I'm going to say patterned. Oh yes, some lucky clover and, well they're not lucky, there are only three leaves. Oh, and green there, so shamrocky, clovery things, very cute. How did you do? Did you guess right more than wrong? I don't think I did today. Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, hmm. there's a nice pattern. Oh, look at that. Another one of those crisp fossils. I love seeing these. They never get boring. That's beautiful. Anything on the other side? Probably not. Nope. There. You can see all the lines of a tree or a plant. Carboniferous period. A little bit older than us. Like by a few million years. Well, we've made some fantastic finds today and we've had some beautiful weather. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. If you have, give us the thumbs up. And don't forget, share it with all your friends. Bye for now. Bye.